Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Drew at Home, Let's Cook Together. It's kind of a little idea I have of me just kind of making uh, certain dishes that I haven't had or uh, I, haven't really, I can't really find a place around here to get. So that's kind of how we ended up with this and I needed a video for this week. So that's, that's where we're at right now. Uh, basically, I decided to go ahead and this week we're going to make poutine. It's a Canadian dish. It's a pretty simple. It's pretty much just uh, french fries and then cheese curds and gravy and just all together. And hopefully uh, ours turns out pretty well. I got my potatoes and then I also got my things to make our gravy with. First, we're going to have drink time. Alright, so I'm a pretty big fan of drinks. Um, any kind of drink, really try new drinks and everything like that. I just like like drinks, you know. Um, so today I got a uh, hot cinnamon spice nitro nitrogen cold brew tea. So let's see how this tastes. I hope I'm not supposed to shake it. Um, let's see. I don't see anything about shaking it, so I guess we found right. Okay, cool. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a uh, black tea with cinnamon spice with it. And it tastes uh, pretty pretty sweet and not not too bitter. So it's pretty good. Alright, anyways, yeah, let's get go ahead and get to chopping up our potatoes. Alright, so we're gonna start chopping these up long ways. I'm I'm pretty lucky that I don't have to skin these potatoes because I am terrible at skinning potatoes. I kind of blame the knife I used whenever I tried, but I, I, it was just not a good experience for me. I was very, very slow. Alright, I just want to point out that this is the beauty of cooking for yourself. Uh, you can cut fries into whatever shape you want to and uh, you know it kind of looks like a pear like you're slicing a pear or something that's okay all right, so now that we got all of our potatoes cut up we are it's my cat I'm going to put some uh, canola oil on them and a little bit of salt. Um, this would be uh, more smart to do in a bowl, but we're not. I am baking my fries in the oven. You don't have to. Uh, it's not. You can do the deep fried method if you want. Uh, so some canola oil will help them in the oven and not uh, burn and dry out our potatoes. Don't really like the way I'm doing it, to be honest. I should have thought this through and put them in the bowl. Alright, so we got them all on the baking sheet, and now it's time to go ahead and put them in the oven. I already got preheated. Right, so now that we got our potatoes in the oven, we can go ahead and start getting the uh, gravy together. Set that aside, and we're going to get our main saucepan here. We're going to get six tablespoons of butter. Sounds like a lot, and it kind of is, but uh, we like butter. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this butter melting, and then in a few minutes we're going to add the flour to it. Alright guys, well, so before my camera died, we were just then making, uh, putting together the gravy. And now both are done. The gravy is uh, still simmering a little bit. Can't really tell. Alright, there you go. Then the fries are done right here. And it's about to just. I'm ready to plate. Alright, so I got my cheese curds right here as well. 
and the white cheese curds. It took a little uh, hunting to do find those cheese curds around here. It's not as popular, so it was a little hard. I had to go to two stores, so that's not actually that bad. All right, here's my fries. Now, something I want to point out uh, is that with the gravy that we use, uh, as I had the cheese curds, uh, with the crazy gravy that we used, um, it was a recipe that involved both chicken stock and beef stock. Um, this is either a really dumb or really uh, gonna be a really good idea. So. Pour it right on top. And coat the fries with it. Uh, I poured way too much on mine. And uh, my gravy doesn't seem exactly to be thick enough. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a gravy boat now. No, okay, this is kind of regretful. But uh, yeah, this is a kind of a mistake. I didn't realize how much I was pouring. So before I try this, I just want to read the, the kind of like the origin story of poutine. I want to read the origin story of poutine and kind of how it came to be. No one's not exactly sure, you know, but it originated in the 1950s in Quebec at a restaurant uh, called Le Lutin Quit Rit, and uh, obviously a French restaurant. Upon being asked to add cheese curds to a customer's fries, owner Fernand but Chance responded, that's going to make a dreadful mess, and as you can see from mine, it really kind of did, but that's kind of my fault with the gravy, so I mean, it's kind of beautiful at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. It's fantastic. Um, the way the gravy really heated up the cheese curds and made the cheese curds just super gooey cheese is just a uh, delightful um, coma inducing snack. Like, even though my gravy is pretty runny, it still has all the flavor there for it. And it's just fantastic and everywhere everywhere should make poutine like it shouldn't be just a Canadian dish or a North Northern American dish and, uh, and there can be all kinds of different poutines like I saw a recipe for uh, a breakfast poutine with white gravy and eggs in it and um, I mean it's more common to add meat than change it up completely like that but anyways yeah so uh, poutine's really really good and you should try it if you get a chance or make it yourself uh, maybe you can make it a little bit better than mine, but the, a little bit better gravy, and actually uh, you'll see how the whole process if you make it yourself, because obviously with my camera dying, it, you didn't see it. But uh, thanks for watching, and hope you tune in next time when I make something else. I'm not sure when that'll be, but it'll be sometime in the future. So I'll see you guys later.